Hello everybody and welcome to my 2024 Appalachian Trail gear list. Uh, we're going to start out with my backpack. It is a Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60. Um, I did add on the large phone holder for the shoulder strap and I plan on getting a water bottle holder for the other strap. It is in the mail right now so I haven't got a chance to test that out uh, but I really like the uh, Mariposa 60 so far uh, I've used it on several hikes already and look forward to carrying it down the trail starting out uh, for my sleep system uh, it's all hanging up right now I did uh, do a shakedown hike last night the temperatures got down to about 28 degrees with 85 percent humidity so everything got damp and wet uh, so it's about 45 degrees right now and uh, got it all hanging up to dry. So uh, for my tent, I've got a Nemo Hornet Osmo two-person. Uh, for the ground cloth, I just opted for the uh, for a cheap um, tarp I got for like $3. And uh, tied some strings onto the eyelets on that so that I can... Uh, stake it down and use it as a as a rain cover if I need to um, Or just use it as a ground cloth. It's I think it'll have a lot of different uses I can lay it out on the ground and just chill on it or um, Lots of lots of uses. Um, I also added an extra length of uh, Bear rope and that's what it's hanging on right now um, Just so I could make a tarp tent type thing to get under um, if I wanted to. Uh, there's the base of the Nemo Hornet. Uh, for for the rest of my sleep system I've got the Nemo Tensor and I got that in regular wide. I am six foot four and um, the length seemed about right to me in the store, so I just went ahead. I was thinking about getting the longer one, uh, but this one worked out really well for me. I've also got the Enlightened Equipment Revelation Quilt. And I did opt to go with a sleep pillow. And it is a Trekology Pillow Deluxe. And... It does have the strap on it to hold it to my sleeping pad so it doesn't slide off at night. Uh, really like this last night. It's got the duvet cover. Uh, just makes it feel nice and homey in the tent. Uh, one luxury item I'll be taking. Another luxury item I'll be taking is the flex tail. Uh, been seeing a lot of these on, on the videos of other hikers that hike at the Appalachian Trail. Um, I know it's not necessary, but sure makes airing up that mattress pretty easy. I uh, wouldn't use it late at night coming into camp, uh, but if I get there and everybody's still awake, I will uh, I'll use that to air up my air mattress real quick. Uh, it really took me about a minute and a half yesterday to air up my air mattress with it. Um, for sleeping-wise, to stay warm at the start, since I'm starting out in late February... Um, and also for hiking, I got a minus 33 merino wool uh, stocking cap. Uh, I've got glove liners and a cheap pair of gloves. I've got a buff. And for my sleep clothes, I have uh, merino wool uh, base layers and a, a thick pair of wool socks. And then for everyday hiking... Um, Besides what I have on, I have a outdoor research shirt on, a pair of Under Armour lightweight Under Armour shorts, and uh, some darn tough socks, and a merino wool t-shirt underneath right now. Uh, but I do want to kind of windbreaker pants. Uh, I'm going to DWR those, wash them in DWR to see if I can get them slightly water resistant. I think that'd be helpful on the trail. I uh, also have uh, another set of merino wool base layers to start out. Um, for when it's cold, I can I can layer up with all of that. 
Uh, I got an extra pair of shorts, an extra pair of socks, and an extra pair of, of boxers. Um, I've also got my hooded puffy uh, for camp. And then I've also got one to hike in. I do like to hike in a puffy every once in a while, uh, especially when it's really cold. And I don't want to get my camp puffy wet, so I've got my old REI puffy that uh, it's about three years old, but it still still works just fine. For rain gear, I guess I forgot this for my sleep system. I did add a, a reactor, Sea to Summit. Um, probably could have used that last night. It got down to about 28 degrees. Um, I was plenty warm in my Revelation quilt. Um, but I don't think that would have hurt to stay a little warmer. Um, for, for rain, I opted for frog togs. Uh, just the jacket. I left the pants out because uh, for the pants, I'm just going to use a rain kilt. And it's a blue field. I got this a few years ago on Amazon, really cheap. Um, it had, the side would flap open and let water get in. So I did sew on some Velcro so that I could keep that closed. And that seems to help out a lot. Um, and then I've got a Mountain Smith uh, pack cover that I picked up at Philmont. Uh, it worked really good out there. I'm just going to continue to use it. Let's see. Other than that, uh, I've got my bear hang bag. And this is something I'm kind of proud of. Uh, I got this for Christmas from my kids and my wife. And it's a hilltop fax. Uh, but it's got a wolf howling at the moon. There's a string of stars going by. And on the bottom it says, love you, Dad. So really cool. My daughter drew that. And uh, it's got a little color in it, but uh, really cool. Uh, it was something I asked for. My daughter is the artist of the family, and uh, really excited she got that for me for Christmas. And then my other clothes bag is a dog. And I think one of my daughter's classmates actually drew that, but it's a really cool picture. And... She wanted that on one of my packs too, so I got two packs for Christmas. It's awesome. I do have camp shoes. I, w I opted for the Crocs. Uh, I've had these for a few years. Um, just use them as I around the house all the time, and uh, I'll use them at camp to help dry the feet and get my hiking shoes off. A uh, little tiny seat pad I ordered off uh, eBay for like a dollar ninety nine. Uh, just to have something dry to sit on. Um, I think that is about it. Oh, I guess we got a Sea to Summit Air Light towel. And uh, it's just a little tiny towel I can wipe down the tin or anything I need to use that for. Uh, I got my medical bag. It's just got a few pills in there that I need, uh, a few bandages. Uh, some tent tape, um, and then some Katahdin um, micro piers, I think they're called. Um, and then I got a couple of of bandanas, a couple little straps. I don't know if I'll take these or not, uh, but they're just Velcro straps that I I've used for different things over the time of hiking here. Some nail clippers. And then my cooking kit uh, consists of a Soto burner. Um, I'll get gas on the trail because I'm flying into Atlanta. And then a Tokes 750 milliliter pot. Uh, pretty common on the trail. I've got a long handled spoon. Um, it's not titanium, but I thought uh, if I cook nor rice or anything like that, I can scoop it out of the pan. So, uh, just I got it. I, I really like it. It's exactly one tablespoon of uh, it'll hold one tablespoon of water. And I don't think I'll need to measure anything out there, but 
it makes for a big bite and I like a big bite every once in a while. I did throw in a little tiny piece of a sponge so if I have to wipe clean something out I'll have that and then my smart water bottles I'll be carrying a couple smart water bottles. I do have my cool Nalgene here and it has the Philmont Scout Ranch brand on it. I carried that with me on both trips to Philmont. Um, love that water bottle but it's too heavy it won't be coming with me on the trail uh, but for these small hikes and around here um, it's it's going with me on those uh, my trekking poles are underneath the, the fluffy and I've just got I've got lucky trekking poles I do like the little feet on them um, for when I'm on rocks and stuff uh, just Gives me that extra grip so I can, uh, so that my tr poles don't slide out from underneath me. Um, I've actually never tried them without it. I might like it with just the tips. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to start out with the little feet on them. So that is everything that I have that I will be taking with me to the Appalachian Trail. Um, if I drop anything out of this or add anything else, I'll make sure to add it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I did forget a few items. I had my fanny pack on while I was recording and I forgot that I carry that with me. Uh, so it's just a cheap Walmart fanny pack. Um, I've got a set of pliers slash knife uh, that I keep in my fanny pack, uh, mainly to open packages. Uh, I got my uh, extra lighter, uh, my Phoenix, HM50R headlamp and I like this because uh, the flashlight part actually pulls off it's got a clip so you can clip it on your belt loop or you can use it as like a just a regular flashlight uh, most of the time it'll be on the band to use as a headlamp but I like to have options uh, then this was sitting on the table I kept passing over the top of it I, I have my uh, electronics bag I uh, just got a couple of charge, USB charge cables. I've got the Nightcore Carbo 20,000. Um, got a two, two outlet anchor charger, uh, fast charger. And then uh, just a set of earbuds so I can uh, listen to music or uh, while I'm working on videos, not interrupt other people. And then this last thing is a temperature reader, uh, measures temperature and humidity. I uh, brought that with me last night so that I could see how cold it got next to the frozen lake and uh, also see what the humidity was. So all in all, um, when I weighed this pack before I left the house with two and a half liters of water and three days worth of food, I was right at 28 pounds. So pretty heavy. Uh, once I get started, I'm hoping to get rid of some of this stuff uh, once it starts warming up.